We begin this film with the Riddler casually telling riddles with Argus director Amanda Waller, who sneakily calls in a black ops team on Riddler's position. When they thought they had him in the bag, the lights turned off, and Batman's voice was heard on their comms. He claims that Riddler is his and takes out all operatives. Riddler tries to escape to a vent while everyone else is busy with Batman. Batman pulls him back inside and interrogates him. Having lost her team to Batman, Waller invokes Priority Level Ultraviolet to assemble Task Force X. Members of this new Suicide Squad are wanted criminals like Killer Frost, King Shark, Black Spider, Captain Boomerang, KG Beast, Harley Quinn, and Deadshot. Having assembled the world's deadliest criminals, Amanda Waller appears before them to indoctrinate them into joining Task Force X. She explains that it is an off-the-books government strike team of convicts with no hope for release serving as expendable agents for impossible missions. She claims that should they succeed in their mission, the government will shave off time from their sentences, but they will be executed should they refuse. Killer Frost wonders what is attached to their necks, which Waller explains is a powerful nanotech explosive. She will blow them up if they decide to flee, get captured, or disobey an order. KG Beast calls her bluff, claiming she wouldn't bother gathering them if she intended to kill them. Waller suggests he put his claim to the test and open the door. The second he steps outside the room, the device on his neck beeps and his head explodes. Deadshot asks what's so dangerous with the mission Waller had to send in the newbies this time. Waller explains that their mission is to break into Arkham Asylum. She tells them that a week ago, the Riddler was working for her when he suddenly went back on his contract and hacked into her computer system, downloading a file containing the identities and histories of every current, past, and potential member of the Suicide Squad. Riddler then threatens to release the information online for all to see. Waller explains that Riddler's copy is on a thumb drive in his cane, currently locked away in Arkham's appropriations room. They plan to get someone on the inside to which Harley volunteers. Dark Spider worries that she is much of a wild card, but Waller claims Harley is the best candidate, given her encyclopedic knowledge of Arkham's layout and logistics. Deadshot is concerned, given that she will be close to the Joker inside, but Harley claims that she is fine, and that they were long over. With that decided, the team will be snuck into Gotham, where they will rendezvous with a power broker who will set them up for the break-in. When Deadshot worries about Batman, Waller assures them his hands are full on another case. Having finished their conversation, Waller orders her men to gas the team. The Suicide Squad later find themselves strapped to chairs and dropped from the air in crates as Waller makes a grand speech about holding their lives in her hands before she finally activates their parachutes. Killer Frost fell too fast that her chute broke and crashed into King Shark, who cushioned their fall. Black Spider suggests going through the sewers to reach the rendezvous point undetected. They later arrive at the RC Lounge, where the Penguin makes his base. Penguin claims he has made arrangements to sneak them into Arkham when he notices Harley Quinn in the group. He quickly grabbed his weapon and pointed it at Harley, still furious for the time she and Joker drove a truck full of cigarettes into the river just for laughs. Penguin claims that nobody steals from him and walks away. Deadshot interrupts him and offers to kill her instead, but claims that it would be worse for business if he double-crossed his clients. Having been convinced, Penguin hands Deadshot the files so he can memorize the contents while the team can rest in the rooms above. He tells them that they will be deployed tomorrow night under the cover of darkness. The next night, Deadshot drops off Harley at a doll shop when Batman shows up, asking her where he put it. Harley fights back, clearly having no idea what Batman is talking about. Worried that the team might be walking into uncharted waters, Deadshot calls Waller and demands answers. She explains that Joker stole a dirty bomb and hid it somewhere in Gotham. Apparently, it's large enough that the radiation would kill half the population. Batman's torn the city apart trying to find it that, at one point, he even thought Riddler might know. When Harley appears to be telling the truth, Batman gives her to the authorities to be taken back to Arkham. 
When they arrived at Arkham, Deadshot walked out of the car dressed as a cop, pretending to detain Harley. When Deadshot offers to throw Harley back into her old cell, the guard tells him there are many new forms they must fill out before they can even come in. Walking towards the holding cells, they ran into Joker, who Harley is still quite affected by their last encounter. He keeps taunting her, and she eventually gives in. She grabs Deadshot's sidearm and starts shooting at Joker's bulletproof cell. Deadshot uses this chance to swipe in the device so they would get access to Arkham systems. Meanwhile, Captain Boomerang brings a dead body to the morgue dressed as an EMT. It turns out that Killer Frost was hidden inside, where her cold body can mimic a corpse's temperature. Although everything turned out well, one of the guards noticed nothing in the system about accepting a new body. The other guards are on alert and point their guns at him. The guard tells him he needs to call it in and claims that nothing goes in or out of Arkham without permission. The guard calls the watch commander when Deadshot manages to patch in the device, clearing up the confusion. When a coroner checks the body, he is thrilled to find a naked woman, but is later shocked to find she is very much alive. Killer Frost kisses him and uses her powers to freeze him, while Captain Boomerang takes out the guards. Black Spider has a different entry point. He ambushes one of the kitchen staff and steals his ID. When he tried to get past security with it, it appeared there was nothing on the system. When the guard reran it, it seemed that Black Spider's credentials were in the system. Black Spider makes his way to the kitchen, where he grabs utensils and puts them in the microwave. He crawls down the service shaft, but not before he busts open a gas pump. When the microwave exploded, it took out the lights in one facility sector. The Suicide Squad members then rendezvoused at the facility's drainage chamber and pried open the steel bars to let in King Shark, who had brought the team's weapons. The Suicide Squad then march into the central security hub to take control of the facility. Captain Boomerang worries that the earlier explosion has put the asylum on yellow alert with the security cameras up and running. Deadshot explains that cutting off the security cameras would definitely alert Batman of any suspicious activity in Arkham, so King Shark suggests using yesterday's feed to cover their tracks. After Harley plays a loop of yesterday's recording, the team heads out to the intensive treatment building, where they keep the prisoners' belongings. Deadshot is about to take out the guards on the watchtowers when Captain Boomerang interrupts and insists they split up the targets. Although they manage to take out the guards, Captain Boomerang fails to remove one of his targets before he can get to his walkie and request a yard sweep. Deadshot criticizes Captain Boomerang for failing to take out his target, to which the two fight it out. When guards go out to sweep the yard, King Shark confronts them head on. The rest of the group joined in and took them out. Meanwhile, somewhere in Gotham City, Victor Zaz has found himself a hostage. Although the cops have him surrounded, he has no intention of surrendering. Batman shows up clearly on edge that he still has not found Joker's bomb. He fires a grappling hook that almost hits Zaz. When Zazaj thought Batman had missed, he pulled his grappling hook, knocking out Zazaj with a brick. When he got back on the Batmobile, Alfred noticed that Batman seemed troubled to, which he explained that Harley was acting odd earlier. He described her as being happy when cops took her in. On a different note, Batman noticed that Arkham had a yellow alert. When he checked the security footage, Batman quickly discovered that the guards working that night were scheduled the previous night, suggesting that this was a previous recording, not live footage. Batman hurries back to Arkham to check the situation. The Suicide Squad finally reached the warehouse, but was blocked by a massive door. Harley quickly enters the combination to the door, revealing to the others that she used to work there as a psychiatrist. They decide to split up to cover more ground. Deadshot got lucky and quickly found Riddler's cane. Out of nowhere, Batman shows up and knocks down King Shark. Although they outnumbered him six to one, Batman held his own against them. Their roughhousing eventually caused the warehouse to collapse in on them. Black Spider has Batman restrained while the others flee to safety. After the dust cleared, they were shocked to find Black Spider had defeated Batman. 
After all the trouble they went through, they checked Riddler's thumb drive, only to find it empty, and Killer Frost went missing. Deadshot thinks Waller gave her a different mission, and suspects she went to kill Riddler. Killer Frost finally makes it to Riddler, and before she can kill him, he explains that Waller wanted him dead because he knew how to defuse the bombs in them. With that said, Killer Frost decides to escape with him towards the medical center but is stonewalled when a team from the Special Crimes Unit cuts them off. When they thought they had no way out, the rest of the Suicide Squad caught up to them. Deadshot suggests using King Shark's impenetrable armor as a shield to ram against the Special Ops team. Meanwhile, Joker has escaped after Harley tore a wall in his cell when he shot him earlier through the peepholes. The Suicide Squad and the Riddler finally made it to the medical center, where Riddler claims to use Electroshock to defuse the bombs on their neck. The Suicide Squad is strapped down while Black Spider offers to keep a lookout. Waller eventually caught up to their plans and decided to activate their bombs. King Shark's bomb failed to defuse, and his head blew up. After seeing Black Spider still alive after Waller activated the bombs, Riddler suspects he is Batman, and that he and Black Spider swapped costumes. Having his disguise revealed, Batman throws a batarang at Riddler when he shoots at him. Joker joins the fight and blows the place down with his exploding marbles. Batman made it out but was shot in the arm by Joker as he escaped. Deadshot and the others tried to escape but were confronted by the Joker. Worried that the others would be shot, Harley quickly runs to Joker, pretending to be on his side. Joker confronted Deadshot, still furious for stealing his girl, but Deadshot outsmarted him and had him running for his life. Joker and Harley escaped into a laundry chute and demanded she give him the mallet, where Joker hid his dirty bomb. Joker activated his bomb and broadcasted his plans while calling out to Batman. Worried that Batman might try to stop him, Joker freed the rest of the inmates in Arkham, including Two-Face, Poison Ivy, Scarecrow, and Bane, to name a few. The inmates quickly rushed outside towards the gate, where the guards tried to contain them. When they struggle to control it, the Special Crimes Unit makes a last stand at the bridge, but Bane makes it outside, unable to stop him from rampaging. Batman shows up and uses explosive gel on Bane as a distraction while he sneaks up from behind him. He pulls the tubes that power Bane and kicks him off the bridge. When Deadshot makes it out on a chopper, Batman summons his Batplane and gives chase. When Deadshot thought he finally escaped, Joker and Harley show up and hold him at gunpoint. Deadshot catches him off guard, and the two fight it out. When the chopper makes a nosedive, Harley quickly gets in the driver's seat and flies the helicopter while the two are still at it. Batman catches up to them and punches Joker when he is about to shoot Deadshot. Batman quickly grabs Harley and swings to an office window as the chopper is about to crash into a building. Deadshot makes it out alive but finds the Joker missing, so he follows the trail of blood. Joker tries to catch him off guard, but Deadshot dodges his attack. He eventually defeats Joker and tosses him back to the chopper, where it fell and exploded upon crashing. Harley tried to attack Batman. He knocked her out and defused the dirty bomb on the mallet. When morning comes, Batman visits Waller, who confronts her for using her ragtag team of criminals to kill Riddler. Waller claims she will catch Riddler next time, but Batman claims there is no next time. Waller says they're the U.S. government and wonders who would blow the whistle on them given that the people wouldn't believe convicts. Before Batman leaves, he warns Waller of her underhanded tactics. Waller taunts him, claiming they never found Joker's body at the crash. When Waller finishes her glass of liquor, she finds a telescopic sight on her, revealing Deadshot aiming a sniper rifle at her. The end. Thank you for watching the entire video. Please check out these other videos and make sure to subscribe and tap the bell to be notified about our latest videos. See you next time.